Hello avid royal followers and welcome back to the channel. I'm your host and in today's news. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have set up a new production company, Archwell Audio, and signed a deal with audio streaming service Spotify. But a new poll by YouGov suggests the majority of Britons are not interested in listening to Meghan and Harry's podcasts. Some 77% of respondents said they were not interested at all, while 12% said they were not very interested. Just 5% said they were fairly interested, along with 2% who said they were very interested. 4% did not know. Harry and Meghan's Spotify deal was announced earlier this week. It comes just months after they signed a deal with Netflix, rumoured to be worth more than £100 million. The Queen's grandson and the ex-Suits star said, What we love about podcasting is that it reminds all of us to take a moment and to really listen, to connect to one another without distraction. With the challenges of 2020, there has never been a more important time to do so, because when we hear each other and hear each other's stories, we are reminded of how interconnected we all are. Harry and Meghan will host a holiday special, which is due to be released in the coming weeks. Royal expert Penny Juno warned the Sussexes, who quit royal duties for a new life in the US, are likely to face bear traps everywhere as they pursue their own commercial activity. She said their deal with Netflix has already proved controversial because of the portrayal of the royals in The Crown. Royal author Miss Juno said, I think unhappily it is very difficult to square up being a member of the royal family with commercial activity because there are bear traps everywhere. I'm sure it never crossed Harry and Meghan's minds about The Crown possibly being negative or damaging when they got their wonderful contract from Netflix. But the problem is that they left those gold standard advisors when they left Buckingham Palace, and they turned their back on the help that they were getting. Miss Juno said that interest in the couple is due to their royal status. While Meghan and Harry quit as senior working royals in, the month, in March, they have hung on to their HRH styles, although they do not use them. The royal author said, Inevitably, because of who they are, there will always be a market for them. It's not because of their, their Harry and Meghan, it's because they're HRHs. That adds a huge number of noughts to the end of any deal that they do. That's not their fault, it just highlights how difficult it is to square up being a member of the royal family but earning a living outside of it. Meghan and Harry are living in an 11 million pound mansion in California with their young son Archie. Miss Juna added, they're living in an extremely expensive house with a lot of very expensive running costs and very extravagant lifestyle. The big question when they moved was, how were they going to support themselves? Ms. Juna said of the Spotify deal, If this is the way of doing that, it's unusual for members of the royal family, but so is the whole situation. My feeling is slightly good luck to them. Don't judge them until it's all gone pear-shaped. So what do you guys think? Tell us in the comments down below. Thank you very much for listening and I'll see you next video.